Hello my lights, it is Crashmaster, and welcome back to another Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom video. And my lights, today, um, just letting you know, situation's a little bit, um, awkward right now, the way I'm recording, um, on the PS4. So, I haven't been able to get an extension cord yet, I'm still using my long wired headset. Um, and granted it is a long wire, but I still have to be relatively close to the TV-ish, so... Yeah, I mean, it's not bad, I can deal with that, but the problem is, Mites, it's every YouTuber's worst dream. Or, <laughs> the majority of the YouTubers. It's becoming summer! And unfortunately, it is very, very noisy, Mites, because unlike the heater I have, the AC unit I actually use for my room is very, very noisy, and I cannot use it during recording, and I haven't even set it up, so it's pretty warm in the room. I opened the window, so hopefully no loud noises or anything will occur outside. I have my fan on on a low setting, so I'm hoping, even though it looks like it's about to fall off, <laughs> let me just fix that real quick. Um... There we go. I'm hoping it won't fall off again. So, Mites, I'm really sorry if you can hear the fan in the background. Maybe some of you who are, like, really, really listening carefully can hear it, hopefully. But, um, yeah, Mites, just letting you know, if you hear any excess noise in the background, I'm sorry. I'm working to save up to get a new, um, to get a new, um, AC unit, air conditioning unit. So that way, um, hopefully it'll be on, it'll be on some sort of silent mode. Or won't be too loud to, like, um, interrupt the recording, so that way it doesn't sound like I'm dying when I'm recording mics. But, um, anyway, I just want to show you all that, just a little, um, just a little brief note. If there's anything, like, in the video you hear really awkward or wrong, um, hopefully no birds flying. <laughs> oh, dear. I always am so afraid of that when I live on a, on a certain high floor, that birds are gonna come in. Anyway, um, right now for the game, it says there's something called the version 4.0 patch notes, which, um, the Tale of a Timeless Tomb expansion is now available to Buy. So I guess when we complete the main game, we'll be able to get some new DLCs, sort of, or expansion pack, whatever you want to call it. Also, over the course of this exciting new adventure, you face some of the most formidable foes yet in the Solus Solusium Slog. Fortunately, you'll have two all new combat techniques known as martial methods to help you. Alright, so I'm guessing martial arts, perhaps? The maximum level. This one intrigued me when I just saw the level. The maximum level of a party members have been increased to level 150, which, <laughs> to be honest, I forgot which levels we are. We're probably, like, well, I think we're less than 10, I honestly think. And other minor bug fixes have been made. Alright, so let's get into the game. So, I'm not really in the game right now, alright, so just continue on. Just, um, I just felt like that might have been important. Alright, so here we are, chapter 2, um, level 4 and level 3. <laughs> yep, mates, we, um... Not that, not that high yet, not even close, well, not even at level 10. Oh dear, we're not even 1 15th of the way, alright, here we are. So we're back in the main gameplay mods, as you can see, last time we just saved around this area. And now, first step is to head to Cloud Coil Canyon. Look, a trip door, um, a trip door, a trip door? I, I, I thought I was going crazy, I think he means a, I might, I think they might, I think he means a trap door. Look, a trap door! Huh? A what? A trip to oh all right so it's it's an actual thing in the game I thought I thought the uh, writers were making a mistake or the coders whatever you want to call it the people who make the text for the game a trip door the found where the energy of the line is especially strong mostly near lion marks if you touch it it will sort of remember you and remember and wait, what? I'll sort of remember you, and that means you can return to it whenever you like. Oh, so it's, maybe it's like a, a checkpoint. Sort of, if we die in the game, perhaps? Not everyone can use them, though. You need to know a certain special skill called travel. Luckily, Nella taught me it. Uh, told it to me. Alright, so that's good, Mike. So at least Evan knows it. So you're telling me you know how to teleport. <laughs> no way. That's That just sounds crazy. How come you didn't use the spell of yours to get out the castle? Well, as I said, you need to have visited a trip door in order to travel back to it. And, well, I never really spent much time outside the castle until now. In fact... This first trip door I've ever seen. Huh. Of course. Well, let's visit as many as we can from now on. These things are sure to come in handy. Yes. Let's. Shall we begin by having this one remember us? Alright, Moitz, I think we shall, alright? Although it looks like Blue Flyer, which um, looks a little painful if you ask me. Alright, traveling through trip doors. You'll find trip doors dotted all over the world. Simply walk up to one and press X to have, um, have it remember you, alright? Whenever you have a trip door, remember you, it will be added to your trip door map, allowing you to travel back there instantly from anywhere in the world. 
All right, you can access the trip door by opening the map menu, all right, and that is the option button, and then pressing options, or by simply holding down options. All right, so you got a couple of couple ones. You got a couple ways. All right, so let's see. Is this the exit? Oh, wait, nope. <laughs> right there. It just looked weird on the map, that's why. What's that little thing on the bottom right of the loading screen? It's like a little flame thing shaking its tail. <laughs> oh, all right, Mars. Looks like we might fight some enemies again. I'm a little bit excited, honestly. I love the battling and leveling off stages of the game. I know a lot of people usually cut it out and whatnot, so I want you guys to leave a comment and let me know if uh, if you guys want to like skip out on some of the enemies or just battle a couple of new ones every now and then. Just let me know, just in case, because I want this to be um I want this to be an all these episodes to be about you guys as well. Surprise attack. Okay. Yep. Okay. You ready for this? Uh oh, two arms. All right, gotta remember all my buttons. There we go. These guys aren't so tough. It's level three. Although there are quite a few of them. All right, <laughs> getting a lot of goodies. Yeah, good job, Evan. There we go. Victory. We got a lot of stuff. I saw an iron nugget. <laughs> Minecraft right there. All right. I also do like this. Monsters. If we get too close, we'll have to fight them. No problem, Evan. Um, Evan, uh, come along. We have a long journey ahead of us. All right. See a treasure chest. Whoa. What was that? Does something just shoot at us? I don't know. Maybe it's just in the back. Maybe it's just uh, the wind. I don't know, mate. All right. We see a chest. What is it? We got some. We got 100 gilders. All right. I was gonna see gold. Oh, skeleplasm. All right. Here we go, mate. Okay. Ready to install Minecraft. All right. That's good. Watch your backs. Oh. Oh. All right. Oh. All right. Gotta gotta remember all my buttons real quick. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, boys, this is amazing. And I think we got a treasure chest. All right, we got a bottle of fresh milk, a rage ring, uh, I mean, a mage's ring, and some gilders. All right. We got a clear crystal. All right. Oh, is there any way to like attack them? Like pull out the sword and maybe get a hit, or, like a hurly. Oh, hands. what's that? I want to see what this enemy is. I can't really. Um, it's a hedgehog. Oh, these guys look tough. Oh! Alright, just gotta remember all my buttons. Alright, that's a jump. Oh, there we go. We got the gun. We got the gun. <laughs> Good thing for auto aim. Otherwise, I might not have too many hits. Yeah! I leveled up mods. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, another victory. Alright, we got a blunder blaster. Alright. What's this? Um, fresh milk. <laughs> Well, we always do need some milk for the, for the morning. Alright, another good egg. We're getting a lot of random items, honestly. I'm guessing that's for our health. Although, Mike, if you look at the top right, I see the map. There's um, something yellow right there, which obviously it seems that we have to go to. And it seems to be some purple um, skull? Bull skull kind of um, icon? You tell me a choppy old cloak. <laughs> yeah, that'll be really handy, won't it? All right, so let me see. We have to go... Which way do we go? We have to go that way, but um, we can't do it right now. So it looks like we're going to have to go all the way around the area. So anyway, so let's see. I'm just trying to... All right, <laughs> we can do a little bit of a jump. <laughs> That's about it. All right, so let me just check. All right, I can also switch. So let's use the cutlass right there. I want to try the cutlass. All right, Wamster badge. Is that what that was? Or a badger? Wamster... Ba um, what is it? The text is just really, really small, Mike. I'm really sorry, but it just is. Oh, Pranger. Oh, oh, they're all different names. All right, this cutlass isn't too bad. It does 40 damage. Oh, 65. Okay, Mike. I'm liking this sword right now. Oh, whew. thanks for that, Evan. I owe you one. I didn't see that. We're getting a lot of loot, and the sword is like on fire. That is pretty cool, if you ask me. All right, we got some gilders. There we go. Let's see. All right, so we still have to head to Cloud Coil Canyon. All right. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna be like the Mario Bros. Just jump on the enemy to get a little bit extra damage. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Nope, no, you don't. Hey, come back. There we go. There we are. We double teamed him. All right, one more. All right, just trying to try out my combos, Mike. Just trying to try out my combos. All right, we're getting a lot of stuff. I have to admit, this is not... I expected to get little bits. Although, this is probably just really, really common stuff if you ask me. At least, I assume it would be really, really common. 
At least we're leveling up the, our characters, so we're doing pretty good. Don't worry, Evan, just keep your eyes on the battle, and we'll be good, I think. Whoop! There we go. That one you have to really land, otherwise you're just jumping like a buffoon. Alright, a piece of shaggy fur, and a base bone. I thought that was a wrench. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at the inventory, shall we? Alright, so let's see. How big is this map? Oh, wow! My, this place is absolutely... We've got, like, a desert um, and a whirlpool area. we got, um, what seems to be... I don't know what that is. It's like a giant statue and someone holding a spear. we got what seems to be another sort of deserty canyon area. A snow area with, um, some mountains. We also have some plains, it seems to be. Some, like, the desert plains. Well, we got a desert right there. Um, some forest areas, and we also seem to have some water, um, some water, some, um, ravines over there. A little bit of, um, some oceans and, and islands and plate tectonics. We got a lot of stuff. Alright, I want to see my items really quickly. Let me see. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Sorry, Marks. Uh, PlayStation button. Still trying to get used to it, alright? Let me see my equipment really quickly. Broadsword, alright. So, it depends which, what's really better. But it looks like the broadsword overall is just better. Although we do have, well, we have quite a bit. All right, let's see. Ooh, all right, the fiery broadsword. All right, if Evan already has this equip, equip it to Roland. Oh, but Evan has this. All right, so let's see. 77, 50. I kind of want Evan to have it because he's a little bit um. We he is the the prince basically, and we have to protect him at all costs, pretty much. All right, let's see. Anything right there? Oh, wait. I want to see anything we could trade that for. Um. I think I like the collection we have right here, the sidearm. Yeah, there we go, Max. We have... Okay, let's see. We've got the normal kind of pistol sidearm. We have the... <laughs> looks like an old-timey gun. Um, Blunder Blaster. Um, Alright, I'm not sure. It, um, it increases the range, I'm guessing, by 5. But I, I'm guessing it, it, it lessens the attack by 1. So that's not bad. Alright. Oh, this increases it. But, oh, cool, Blunder, um, Blunder Blaster. Although they both look exactly the same. I will take this one overall. Go for the middle. Don't want to lose too mu too much. Don't want to um, gain too much. I want to be in the middle for now. For now. All right. Oh, level nine, a hedgehog mice. That um. Oh, there's a level three one over there. I reckon we go fight that one first. The thing is, there's so many enemies all around mice. So most of this, I might actually just cut off camera if I if I feel like it's um too much, honestly. Because most of these battles, unless there's like too many common enemies, I might just cut out a lot of it out. All right, we got four of them. I want to do this fight though. These guys are pretty tough. <laughs> you can really tell by the way they look. Oh, 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 man. Hey, hey. There we go. Just two little dash. Just two little slashes. All right. All right. So not bad. Not bad. We got a, a spool. A spool of of snow white thread. <laughs> A lot of these enemies just sound, uh, not the enemy, a lot of this stuff just sounds made up. Um, Wamster Clanger. Right, we've got something right there. Oh, there we go. I'm just trying to see if we can jump on them. That'd be hilarious. Oh, we got a lot of versions of them as well. These guys are really easy now. I mean, at first they were, they weren't bad, but now they're relatively easy mode. They're just like two or three, two or three swings. Alright, there we go. Look at that, Mike. It's the fiery broadsword. It just looks amazing overall. Alright, so let's see. So, uh, I suppose we'll just skip most of the enemies, Mike. I mean, we want to get to, like, the nitty-gritty and whatnot. Once the Pranga. Let's see, alright. So, anything around here? I feel like I want to go fight that, um, level 9. Just to see what I'm up against, Mike. Uh, because honestly, this, a lot of these enemies are probably preparing us for a boss battle. But we don't want to keep doing every single one. So, lightweight lumber. Alright, that could be pretty useful, I guess. Alright, sneak attack! Yeah, alright. Let's see. Oh, alright. We got, um... Oh, we got the level 9 one. He's right there. Oh! Oh, my. He is really tough. Really tough. Oh, ow! Okay, I'm taking a lot of damage, actually. Yeah, good job, Evan. Uh oh! Alright, what's R2? What's R2? I forgot! Ow! Take care of his little friend! Oh wait, no! That's the level 9 one! Alright, did it! Get back from Evan! Whew! There we go. 
Oh, right, boys. I have to admit, that level 9 one was a lot tougher than I expected. Oh, man. We have a level 3 and a level 5 one right there as well. All right. I want to I wanna heal myself real quick. I always press this share button for some reason, boys. I don't know why, but I just do. All right. Wait. Um, Items. Okay. Really quickly. Let me see. So... Oh, wait, no, that's quest, that's quest. I want to do items really quickly, all right. Um, healing herb, that just the thing for everyday cuts, bumps, and grazes, all right. There we go, rolling, and Evan seems to be doing pretty okay. He's even level 5, my, same as me, all right. Anything else? I think we're good for now on the magic as well. We don't like, we, um, well, the mana, uh, whatever it's called in this game, pretty much. Um, the level 3, should we fight it? Oh, well, it's going to chase me. Can I get away? Nope. Ah, oh, my, I was trying to get away. I'm so sorry. All right. Oh, we got five of them. All right. Perfect time to use this. There we go. Now we're all down. Come on. Oh. I need to time that really good. At least we both missed. Whew. I actually do like the way those um those um those enemies really look, Mites. I actually quite like it. Um, what are they? The hedge, the, um, hedge something? Hedgehound, hedgehog. I was, I always say a hedgehog because I love Sonic, boys, well, because I play a lot of bit of, um, quite a bit of Sonic back in the day, and I still kind of am now, but, um, I just keep thinking Sonic for some reason. There we go. There we go, Mark. I know I keep, I know I just did that kind of spamming, I did it twice, but I want to see if I, if there's some way I could just slash them all at once. Go with me, that was pretty cool if you ask me. Alright, so let's see. Anything around? I gotta admit, this whole area looks really, really beautiful, Mites. It looks really good. Level 8 Whamster Banger down there. We got a couple of goose down there. Alright. So there is quite a few enemies around here, but we have to admit, this is still at the start of the game. And some of them aren't too bad. Alright, let's see. I'll probably only fight some of them that are, like, decently strong. Or strong, or, like, as strong or stronger than me. Oh, alright, so we got a new section, it looks like. All right, <laughs> the bottom right always changed. What's going on here? Oh, what the heck? Is that a pterodactyl? Oh, whoa, what the heck? What the heck is that? We gotta save her. Oh, it's those little things. <laughs> Come on. All right, here we go. Dealing with airborne enemies, some monsters can fly, make them tricky foes to deal with, as it won't be possible to hit them with regular melee attacks while they're in the air. Oh no, mites. Oh no, it's not what I think it is. We're gonna have to shoot. Oh, or maybe we can air. All right, well, we kind of were doing that a couple of times, even though I didn't really need to. Um, they'll need to be brought low with mid-air attacks, which can be performed by unleashing a regular melee attack while jumping. Range attack from guns once, yep, yeah, here we are. Um, Accelerator can also be useful in this situation, and certain skills are also effective against airborne enemies, alright? There we go, good job, Evan. Now! Do as much damage while he's on the ground! Whew! Is he running? Oh, yeah, yep, yeah, Mites, alright, now he's flying. Uh oh! Ah, Whew. It's coming back! Whoa! Little guys! They're, whoa! They're actually doing it! Oh, you two! You can see my little lovelies, can't you? What? Have a lend you a hand. Are you sure? I mean, I don't want them to get hurt or anything. Alright, getting your hid hidgely help from f um, friends to help. <laughs> Hig Higlady help fr friends. I mean, um, getting your Higlady friends to help. All right. During battle, Higlady's will automatically back you up by attacking, defending, healing, and performing various other actions based on the type. All right. Oh, so that's why the greens and the whites and maybe there's other colors like blue and red and purple, maybe. All right. Sometimes they'll give you the go ahead to issue special orders that will see them perform incredibly super powered skills. Just run up and press X to activate them. Certain other Higlidys will allow you to absorb them by holding down the button for your character spells and abilities, thereby changing and improving their effects. You can check how many Higlidys of which element will be necessary. Alright, so there's different elements to enhance a skill in this way in the equipment and skill menu. Experiment to find some killer combos. Alright, so we got one right there called Flatliner, which is um cross cut. Alright, I'm liking this. Oh there, alright. Whew! At least the gun can help!
There we go! It's not done yet! Whoa! Whew. No, you don't! Alright, here we go! Whew! That was actually pretty good! Excuse me! Are you alright? Oh my! Oh me, oh my. That was a close one and no mistake. I don't know what I'd done if you two lovely boys hadn't come wandering by. I'm Martha, by the way. Auntie Martha to those I take a shine to. And I'm pleased to say I take a shine to you. Come on then, we're going to my house. I must give you a little something to say thank you. Uh, sure, thank you. Um, Auntie, uh, Aunt, um, I, that's really kind of you, alright. So it wasn't too bad. We got a couple of new enemies and we got like a, I guess you can say mini boss in a sense, practice boss, um, whatever you want to call it. Um, here we are. It's not much, but it's home. In you come. All right, here we are. All right, so hopefully we get a checkpoint mark because that would be really, really helpful, honestly. Oh, they got white ones, blue ones. Thanks ever so much. You two really did save my bacon back there. Boys, look at them. There's so many and <laughs> they're so adorable as well. You got green ones, purple ones, white ones, blue, orange, all the colors of the rainbow pretty much. I never expected to see a wyvern so close to home. Honestly, a girl can't even go out picking curves in peace these days. Uh, so, these little creatures of yours, are they monsters? Oi! Oh, you chico so-and-so. No, they are not. They're, well, they're more. Phenomena than anything, I suppose. Phenomena? That's right, dear. That's, there's the wind, isn't it? And fire and rain and such like. They're all natural phenomena. Oh, so like weather. All right, so the yellow one right there must be the sun. The, I guess heat will be the orange one or the orange and reddish, reddish one. The, the clear white one. I can't really guess what that would be. Maybe cloudy? Hmm. Right, the green one I guess would be earth or grass. The purple one I'm guessing would be night, and the blue one has to be water, obviously. So where were you off to when you got um got way um way laid helping out old Martha anyways? We don't often get visitors around these parts. We were on our way to the king's cradle beyond Cloud Coil Canyon. <gasps> Moit, <Mites. laughs> try saying that five times fast. Cloud Coil Canyon, Cloud Coil Can Oh dear, I can't. I'm not even gonna attempt to. No, really! Just the two of you, going into that den of the speakable Sky Pirate. Whoa, huh? Sky Pirates? We have to. Well, now. Have to, dear. Absolutely, positively have to? Mm. Absolutely, positively. Yes. <laughs> well, in that case, you better take some of my little lovelies, with you? Mm -hmm. Really? Higgle Piggle. <laughs> oh, that's adorable, mice. You just can't. You just can't. Seriously, you can't not smile when you see them. At least I can't. You really don't mind. Certainly. It's the least I can do. You show me that you'll treat them kindly. And best of all, that you put them to good use. Thank you. Thank you very much, Auntie Martha. I'll feel a lot better with these little guys backing us up. They're actually really good, mice, especially since they kind of took down the big guy a little bit. Wonderful, and if you ever have any questions about them, you just come and ask me, you hear? Higgledy befriended. Runcible the Righteous House. Well, it's, what's with all the tongues? What's with all the tongue twisters around here? Higgledy, um, Higgledy befriended. Runcible, Runcible the Righteous. Seriously, I decided to join you on your adventure. All right. Oh my, but unfortunately, I'm sorry. I really do want to continue the episode, but these things will only be so long because I don't want to bore you guys or have too much of an episode with you. So that's gonna be the end of the video, Mike. So next video, we'll be talking around with some of these Higgledies. It seems like we're gonna go ask her about maybe what type of season or or maybe what they represent but anyways mods that's the end of the video hopefully you all enjoyed it please leave a like and subscribe and yes i will see you all later later guys